Welcome to 3CI Training. My name is Ron Shaw and I'll be your video presenter for this short video on how to create a VLAN on a Cisco switch and assign a port to a VLAN. Alright, let's get begin. Let's get started. Now, one of the first things we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set up and design our network and separate our devices based on security requirements, functions uh, within our uh, organization. Now, after we've determined how we want to break up our um, um, devices within our network, we need to go in and create the VLANs on our switch. Now, in order to do that, we'll need to go to our switch, which I've already got a um, hyperterminal session running, and from here we'll go in the configuration mode. Now, there's going to be actually three ways that I can create a VLAN, and I'll show you each of the three ways that I can configure a VLAN on a Cisco device. The first way will be done in the configuration mode. Now, this is the most current method that Cisco uh, f has um, put out for their CCNA exam. So from here, I'll say VLAN 10. Now, this brings me into the sub VLAN configuration mode, and from here, I can give it a name, such as I'll give it a name of red. Now, the second method will be to actually conduct and uh, create it in the VLAN database. From here, I'll do VLAN database. Now, as you can see, that was, the command was VLAN database. I had the screen pop up there. From here, I'll create my VLAN, VLAN 20. Now, I have an optional command or subcommand that I can give it a name, so we'll just give it blue. Otherwise, I wouldn't need it, and it would just uh, call it VLAN 20 with a name of 0020. From here, I'll have to issue the exit command. Do not do the control Z. It may not save it. Now, the third method would be in the actual interface mode. So uh, let's um, get into uh, FA0 slash 1. And here I would go switch port access uh, VLAN 30. And from here, it says it does not exist and it's creating it. Now, I can validate and verify my commands by issuing the show VLAN. And from here, as you can see, I've got red for VLAN 10, 20 for blue, and VLAN 30, which is VLAN 0030. Remember, that was the third option that I'd done and created it within the interface mode. So from here, let's go back and um, assign a switch port to a VLAN. Again, I'll issue the config T to get in global configuration. From there, I'll go to the interface. Let's see, FA0 uh, slash 2, and then I'll do switch port access VLAN 10. Now, if I'm going to do a range of ports, I could sit there and issue the range command interface range. Uh, FA 0 slash, let's say, uh, 4 through, uh, let's say, 10. Now, you notice my configuration has changed to config interface range, and from here, I could just uh, issue the switch port uh, VLAN, or switch port access VLAN 20. Now, again, I could validate this configuration by issuing the, uh, um, the, sh the show VLAN. And from there, as you can see, uh, uh, Fast Ethernet 02 is in VLAN 10. My 4 through 10 is in the blue VLAN. And, of course, again, my uh, FA01 is in uh, VLAN 30. Now, from here, I could issue the show run and also validate the same information. Again, you can see the uh, FA01 is in VLAN 30. FA02 is in 10, and 4 through 10 are all in VLAN 20. Now that I've validated this information, I could go in here and write the information to the uh, um, NVRAM and uh, finalize my settings. Now, uh, thank you for um, visiting uh, 3CI Training and viewing this uh, short video on, on how to create a VLAN and assign a switch port to a VLAN. Thank you and have a great day.